Often people get discouraged by Cinema 4D rigging or rigging in general because after their first rig they get weird delays or glitches like these. And that's why priority hierarchies are very important. On the part 3 of the tutorial series I will talk about some rules and practices to follow that will help you avoid these issues. Cinema 4D calculates everything in its own operational order. As you probably know already, starting with initial and finishing with dynamics. And then in a hierarchical order from top to bottom and from left to right in the tag section. So, by following these rules, we can then place our rig objects in an appropriate order, starting with your controllers, IK goals, poles, etc. Which is objects that is actually going to be animated with the keyframes. Then, entire hierarchy of the character joints, which is technically an expression. Second to last, goes your mesh objects with skin deformers and weight tags, which falls under the generator class. And, if you decide to use any dynamic objects, for example, dynamic clothing or hair, you will place them last. By following this order, you'll avoid objects glitching out or delaying. But if the problems still occur, deformers, generators and the most tags have this handy priority tab, where you can set custom priority order. Yet, I would highly suggest doing so only as a last resort, because it can get very hard to track what goes after what.